Hello everybody, this is Toys R Us and for this unboxing video on a Monday that's exactly what I'm going to be doing but as ever I'm going to turn this into a bit of a guessing game and make it a bit more fun hopefully. So one other little thing to confess in a second once I show you the size of the box. It is quite a big box, it is a boxed generation one Japanese exclusive figure. So the first thing I say I've got to confess is a couple of people know about this already and a few more people saw this on a live stream that I did oh a bit back now to be honest and for some reason I've just been meaning to get around to show and to give this figure it's I suppose it's do it some credit give it a proper unboxing because um usually I do save my unboxings for this but because when I got it in hand I wanted to open it straight away so I did so uh, a couple of people know about this already anyway it is a Japanese generation one exclusive it is a pretty special figure to be fair you don't see many of these um at all um there's some really easy clues which might give it away depending on your knowledge of japanese continuity but let's just start off with straight away by saying it was released in 1990 in japan so that meant that it fell under the transformers zone uh sort of toy line as well which funnily enough is, is exactly what this pretty much is and i'll show you in a second um so yes yeah, so the zone was 1990 in japan and it was the very last year um for hasbro however this figure was released by hasbro but it was released the year before so there's a big clue straight away so it wasn't something like super god master force where you got you know minerva and nightbeat at the same time this was something released a full year later um under as i say under a different toy line and um they're, they're, i couldn't say if it was in the cartoon or not because it was only one episode and i really can't remember there's another massive clue in a second which hopefully in fact i'm just going to pretty much give you the other big clue so if you know your japanese continuity and i think this could be the only figure that they ever did this with so released in 1989 by hasbro as a decepticon released in 1990 in japan new color scheme new deco as an autobot or as a cybertron um, as, as as they were known so um that's if you know your continuity you're going to have that straight away if you didn't you'll probably be quite surprised by that because as i say well i think it's the only figure that they've ever done that with which is um yeah quite interesting i suppose um this is a boxed one um i, I can't wait to show you to be fair there's there's more than one thing in the box as well so it, it's not like multiple figures it's not like a gift set but it is more like a play set because lots of the figures in japan in the later years were a bit like play sets um and i suppose the other thing that's really important is the of course they changed the accessories color as well with it but they also changed one of the little fundamental i think accessories as well around that you probably just saw that a little bit right there um and you may already have the, you may have already got guessed this but if you haven't so i'm going to tell you the american one first and foremost that was the 1989 release of sky hopper whereas in japan in 1990 he was an autobot and he was called sky hyper and i just yeah i didn't really need a decent video on it a decent review so i'm going to get it done for you asap i just quickly want to point out this there see that there that is what rudy zizu very creatively toys r us um, the showcase and he managed to get that from there incredible genius man and yeah this is the autobot sky hyper can't wait to review him for you i'll get it done asap did you if you guessed it put the time you got it don't put uh what it is in the comments because i think this is going to keep a lot of people guessing thanks very much guys take care